Hi guys, this is Andy, the Expedition Hiker, and uh, we're on a bit of a different walk today. As in, uh, all my walks I always plan, research them, and this one is different. I haven't planned it whatsoever, which is funny enough because actually last week, the last week's video was all about planning. And this week is a flash in the pan, a bit of on a whim. I'm on a course in Sheffield at the moment and I thought I'll we'll come out for an evening walk. So I'm staying near Sheffield Arena and uh, I found this walk. I thought I'll come along on it. Now there is a circular walk which is about nine, ten miles. It starts in Sheffield, finishes in Sheffield obviously if it's circular, but it follows the Tinsley Canal and then heads on to the alongside the Don River, passing Meadowhall, and then we go on the five weirs walk. So that is my plan today. Uh, if you wanted to walk the full route, I will leave a link in the description. So with that, let's get going. And this is where we're starting by Sheffield Arena. Uh, I assume it's a music venue, but those posts over there, there's white markers, I think that's some sort of field. In fact, actually, it seems to be a bit of a sports complex. There's hockey and all sorts of things around here. Flashback. Well, funny enough, the building in front, old blue building, that reminds me of an old film. The Full Monty. It was filmed in Sheffield, I believe. I think Sean Bean was in it. Or well, might be wrong. Oh no, or was it Carlisle? The other one. Uh, anyway, it was a bit blue building like that. I wonder if that was where they filmed the location where they did it. Oh, interesting that there's a fire here. Nobody about. And it's just by the side of the canal. Not next to anywhere. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it's a bit of a concrete narrow section and then it looks like a relic of the past. Uh, not entirely sure. I'm guessing these could have been some sort of bridge. And uh, some sort of steelworks on the opposite side. Which I'm not sure what they refer to. But, uh, it's nice to see some old ruins as we head down this canal. I was wondering what Tinsley Flight means, but I've just had a quick look at the map and I think we're going through a series of locks. The Tinsley Locks. I'm not sure how many it is. We'll find out soon. So this is Tinsley Marina. This is pipe bridge because there's a pipe over it and it's a bridge, pipe bridge.
Well, there's not, not much happening in here now, although well, there's two massive tree roots growing through the middle of the building. So I'm guessing that's the reason why it's been derelict. Well, apart from a bit of graffiti, this is the Tinsley Waterside Flora and Fauna. So here we can see uh, herons, kingfishers, water voles, otters, hazel, uh, fish. <laughs> we might not see many, but they'll be under the water. But there's a pike. We might see a pike. So this is the point where we leave the canal and we head on with the uh, River Don. We're heading towards the meadow wall now and uh, this part is called the Five Weirs Walk. So let's count them up. One road on top of another. Which is above the railway track, which is above the river. It's all going on here. Somebody told me recently that uh, the ironworks and steelworks of Sheffield are dying on it. As you can see, in front of us, there's a large factory there. And here we go. This is Weir 1 of the Five Weir Walk. And uh, you just can see in front of us actually, there's a meter stick to say how high the water goes. Which is, looking from where that is, it's quite a considerable height. Especially if this is a weir, which breaks the water sometimes. Well, most of the times. So, well, hopefully it doesn't go that high. Which, 111 feet, is that? So this is the Newton Chambers and Co Limited Forncliff Ironworks erected. But we're following Route 6, the National Cycle Network, as we walk alongside Meadowall. Weir 1 of the five weirs walk as we see Meadowall behind it. So a lot of the buildings around here are all by this company, Forge Solutions Group, River Don Operations. We come across another steelworks building. I think we're about to cross the river in a minute. So we'll probably head on to the opposite side. You can see some of the products of the steelworks. On that platform, it looks like steel. Zoom needing processing as we continue down the river. I'm loving this walk. I wish I knew about this earlier. I wish I planned it a bit better, but I'm enjoying it. Another hidden treasure. I wonder where that tunnel may lead. I bet it's been there some time. Now I apologise for the shaky camera work, but this walk wasn't planned whatsoever. I haven't got any of my proper camera gear. All I've got is my phone. Uh, not even a microphone, no gimbal, anything. So this, as I said earlier, 
this walk was a bit of a flash in the pan. Didn't plan it, didn't even know it was here, quite honest. But due to the course I'm on, I managed to find it. And I couldn't just give it up. Hopefully, uh, it's been interesting enough. I mean, it's where Sheffield industry of uh, what, four or five hundred years of steel meets the river and the river Don that uh, passes through it. A heron perched in the middle. And I'm sure if I walk a bit closer, he's going to run off. Now, funny enough, I was another walk I've done recently. My two goals was to see a kingfisher and a heron. And I don't think the whole of the way I found either. Where I've walked down this river a little distance and I've seen a heron, as you can see here. Funny, it's one of those birds I see quite a lot of, but never seem to catch on camera. And here we have a perfect one. The one thing that could beat this is he went and grabbed a fish now. Well, it's an interesting viewpoint, as it says there. So let's see what difference I can see from here. So if I look around here, that's my viewpoint. So if I get on the viewpoint, see what difference there is. And here, not much difference, because I'm only two foot higher than I was a minute ago. Not sure how clear this is, but there's an abundance of sand martins here. It's got to be 20 or 30 of them. The problem is, like sand martins, they fly around quite fast in multiple directions, so you can't really catch them on camera. But this is turning out to be some interesting walk that I never even planned to do. I don't think I've ever seen so many sand martins. In fact, I'm surprised how many different birds I've seen in the short distance I've walked along this river. I've seen goldfinches, about eight goldfinches, two red wings, as I mentioned, abundance of sand martins. Now actually there's a swallow in front of me as well. Uh, and I did think I saw a kingfisher, but I'm not sure. I definitely ca didn't catch it on camera. There's also something down there that I can't work out what it is. So yeah, a nature trail in the middle of a city. So, re so upon reaching this point, just next to the uh, Special Steels Limited long bar treatment, find you just walk into here. There is a board on the right hand side and a little nice sitting area. But the problem is you can't go any further than that gate. So this is the point where you have to improvise. Uh, so head back to this way and then turn left on the road and then left again we'll follow it down till we get to a cross point and then we'll be able to get back onto the five ways walk from there talk about a fish out of water now that's an advertisement for mercedes-benz So we've got onto Warren Street, as you can see some old Victorian buildings in front of us. On our right is the entrance to get back on the canal for the five ways walk, which obviously we shall take. Now I must admit this has been a great walk. Um, the 
The amount of wildlife I've seen is unbelievable. Uh, I have managed to capture a heron, uh, some goldfinches, sand martins. I think I've got, got a red wing, I can't remember. Um, but also I've seen, I saw a kingfisher, uh, I've seen an otter, I've seen a couple of water voles. And so what I'm saying is that uh, sometimes you don't have to get right into the heart of the countryside to find nature and wildlife. I mean, we are by the edge of a city. Well, within the city, really. And uh, I've managed to find all this. As we've reached the river again, we come across another one of the weirs. And I think it must be about the fourth or the fifth one. So, enjoyable walk, well worth a wander. Also, I've just realised, although we've managed to get back on the path, again, it's not leading us anywhere. We're going to have to again find a way back onto the river trail. So this bridge is Norfolk Bridge, erected in 1856. And we're just above the weir now, from a different angle. So that's where we were a moment ago. Well, success. I think we've actually found the, the path again. And this looks like a bit more promising than the last part that we went on. As if we're gonna follow the river for a bit more. So I think we've got about a mile, mile and a half left of the river, River Don. And then we'll pick back up onto the Tinsley Canal. Now, I apologize that you're not seeing my face, but as I mentioned before, I haven't got a gimbal with me or anything else, so trying to keep it steady. It'll be a bit of editing of a warp stabilizer through Premiere Pro, I think. I'm sure, like always, it's good to see the views. So this is the Sheffield Bailey Bridge. That way is the city of Sheffield. And that's the direction we've come from. Well, we've got the river on our right hand side, but I didn't expect to see these sitting just by the right hand side out as well. Just chilling out, as I do. Well, honestly, I thought we've already passed five weirs, but uh, obviously I must have counted wrong, and this must be the fifth one. I can see the ghouls around here are quite big. And I'm, I'm not sure why, because we must be 70 miles from the coast. Why the, the ghouls are bigger here than they are in Nottingham, which is still about 70, 80 miles from the coast. Now we're actually on a suspended bridge. I can see the river there, and the river there. Uh, a bit ribs need some uh, renovation, I think. But funny enough, I've seen this on somebody else's video recently. Well, a few months ago now. So Steve from Tramp in the Hills. So actually, the riv, river is underneath us, as I mentioned. It's a suspended bridge with some sort of spider above us. Anyway, we're going to continue this way. I'm not sure if these are sculptures or they refer to something more than that. So, after seeing those uh, sculptures in the water, I can actually say they are sculptures now because I think this is an art gallery. And uh, there's plenty of them here, different shapes. So, as we head into the centre of Sheffield, this is the point I'm going to leave the uh, River Don, for our last look at the River Don, and we're going to head. Back onto the Tinsley Canal. Exchange Brewery. 
building on stilts overlooking the Witte Weir by the same side of the Lady Bridge which is the oldest bridge in Sheffield Lady Bridge dates back to the 12th century although the present Lady Bridge originated in 1486 it widened three times once in 1761 once in 1864 and as we see here this bridge is 1909 And we're back on the canal in the Victoria Keys. This front we've got North Key. Anyway, I'm going to head down here and I'll follow it along. And we're going through a little bit of a marina or the key, and we'll continue along the canal for a little bit. So I believe if you want a snooker queue, as Sheffield is the home to the World Snooker Championship, uh, actually I think it's actually being played at the moment, this is where a lot of the professionals get their queues from. Sheffield and Tinsley Canal celebrating 200 years of the Canal and River Trust. So these bridges I've just crossed at the moment are swing bridges. I've mentioned about swing bridges before where they will swing so that boats can cross one side or the other rather than going up and down. So the canal was opened in 1819 for the import of coal and the export of steel. And what are you thinking about it? So we've got Sheaf Key here. Yeah? Uh, looks like a. Well, I'm not sure. We'll find out what that is. And then we've got Boat Here called Spot On. Now I think that's a reference to uh, Snooker. An old relic of the industry past, and then, uh, well, an old boat, but uh, an interesting shape to it, especially the uh, double glazing and patio doors on the top. Anyway, we should keep going. As you know, I do like my canals. I've walked on some, and I'm sure we're going to do some more as well. I've actually interested in doing the Chesterfield Canal. Uh, Trenton Mersey Canal, I'd like to walk that one, possibly it's full route. And I'm sure we'll find some more canals to do as well. interesting boat to see in the middle of Sheffield. It is a great walk and I had no idea I was going to do it. I'm glad I found it and I'm glad I'm doing it and uh, if anybody else fancies doing it the route will be in the description and some nice artwork there as well uh, it does look the area I'm walking through now there's uh, quite a few bits of artwork and of Alps but it's still part of the industrial heritage of Sheffield Midland Railway Bridge, erected in 1870. And another piece of art. Some nice art. Seems to be all done by the same person. 
affix and it does have a stamp of the Canal and River Trust so I think it's all commissioned and within here we do have some awesome couple of dudes or three dudes and then it oh how appropriate that looks like it looks like part of the beat district but the how the stones protrude from the wall makes it look like the rocks so I would say that is Stanage Edge because by the edge of Stanage Edge is the Sheffield Country Walk if not it's Bamford Edge I'll go with one of them too ladybirds the art works quite nice doesn't it we shall pass down a lot some wasps there although I hate to see a wasp that size what's a grumble made by martin.co.uk he's got an interest in schools and skeletons I think A bit panicky. I only want to film you. You can't go in the water, you know. <laughs> I think that's the last result. No, we're going in the water. No, he ain't. He's a slobby. I'm staying on on it. And we go. And this is number six, Bacon Lane Bridge, erected in 1819. The only problem is with the cow bridges, they're low for when you're tall like me. So you have to look down a bit. Uh, we're actually going to end this walk here. Um, we've just sort of near enough done this whole circuit. I can see just up in front where we are aiming for. And uh, then we would have done the whole, I think it's nine mile circular route. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. As I said before, it's been pleasant. Very pleasant because it wasn't planned. And uh, I wanted to go out for a walk after uh, the course, day one. And uh, this has been the perfect place to do it. Um, industrial and uh, peace, well, apart from that motorbike in the background. But uh, yeah, being quite peaceful overall. Uh, I love canals because they've got the history and also you've got the water, the green space. And it's so, it's tranquil. And uh, it's been a great walk. So, like always, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm getting close to 500 subscribers. And uh, I'm aiming to do a giveaway once we hit to 500. Although I have no idea how you do a giveaway and all that, but I'm sure I'll find that one out. So, hopefully, we'll get to 500 soon and beyond. So in the meantime, you know the usual. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, hikers.